it's interesting and sort of varied situation, I think, for the Canadians. Um, there's a, a long history between Canada and the 13 colonies at this point, and if it's all right, I'd like to talk a little bit about that. But if we look at the Seven Years' War, um, so we have Britain and France battling it out in North America. Um, so we have a major French colony up in what is now Canada, and the 13 colonies being British possessions. So there's long been this animosity, I think, between the two, where you have the French Catholics um, and then the mostly Anglophone, mostly Protestant 13 colonies. So they're religious, cultural rivals, imperial rivals, economic rivals as well. Um, so there's that bit of, well, not bit of, there's quite a bit of animosity between the two communities. Um, and there's an interesting history just prior to the American Revolution, of course, um, with the British winning the war, of, or the Seven Years' War. Um, I think there was an assumption among the 13 colonies that they would really benefit from this, from the removal of the French as a significant presence in North America. But what really happens is the British are trying to figure out how do they deal with the inclusion of French province into a British empire, um, and how do they also keep Native American allies happy. So we get the proclamation of 1763, which says no more westward expansion for the 13 colonies. You stay where you are and we'll control westward, westward expansion. Um, and this upset the colonists. And then the Quebec Act of 1774, which said Quebec can remain French and Catholic. Um, French Catholics can serve in the Quebec Council. Um, and we're also going to put those Western lands under the jurisdiction of Quebec. So this was extremely upsetting for the 13 colonies who assumed that they would be able to move west um, and assumed that there would be a change in how French Canada or how Quebec um, operated and how the French Catholics, um, sort of their independence. So I think they looked then at, you know, Quebec is still ruled by despotic power because there was no assembly, um, there was just a governor and a council, um, they're still papist, quote unquote, uh, they're still French, so they're still our old enemies, so I think that sort of continues. Um, so there's some interest in Quebec in the revolution because they're you know, a huge French population who aren't exactly pleased that their overlords have been changed and now they're looking at the British um, and being ruled by the British. Um, but there's also a, a distrust on the part of French Canadians looking at the Americans and saying, well, what's going to happen if we join America? Are we going to have the same rights? Are we going to be able to remain Catholic and French? Um, and what will happen? So there's that real um, sort of debate within Quebec to, you know, what do we do? And, and in response to this, many of the French Canadians said, we'll stay out of it altogether. We're not going to support either side.